SpaceX is set to launch its Falcon 9 rocket uh, that's going up along with its next uh, Iridium Next satellite. So right there, you're looking at the launch site at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Uh, there's about 10 Iridium Next satellites that will be launched momentarily. Uh, you're looking at them sort of checking uh, all the kind of uh, assets that you need to check before you go into space. A lot of steam coming out there. Joining us now on the phone is Matthew Bloxham, a Bloomberg Intelligence senior uh, analyst. We're T minus three three minutes here. Uh, what's the significance of this? Yeah, so I think um, this is kind of a still early stage of the latest generation of this Falcon 9 rocket that, that you can see. Um, and um, they're really trying to demonstrate the reliability um, of the system because they want to be able to use it to take astronauts into space and, you know, kind of uh, human space travel beyond that. So they really need to demonstrate that this kind of new version of the booster uh, is reliable and importantly that they can do another successful landing of that booster stage back back onto a drone ship in the ocean so they can start to reuse this because this um this rocket is called the Block 5, um, and whereas the previous version could only be reused a couple of times, the plan with the Block 5 is that you can reuse it up to 10 times with minimal uh, kind of repair work, and that you can potentially have about 100 uses uh, out of a single rocket uh, over its life. So you know, that's really important in terms of improving the kind of viability of you know, kind of cost-effective space travel, essentially. Hang on, because we're about five seconds away from the launch. Let's take a look at this, the liftoff from SpaceX. Ignition. Liftoff to Falcon 9. Vehicle is pushing down range. So there you're looking at a space, a SpaceX launching the Falcon 9 rocket, going to launch 10 Iridium Next satellites. That was from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. A little cloudy, yeah. but you got the idea. AVIONICS and the cool power part power is we're going to wind up uh, seeing an attempt to land the Falcon 9's uh, first off. stage following Falcon the space separation. So that's something we're also going to be looking at, too. So, Matthew, this is exciting to watch. Any launch is very exciting to watch. At the same time, put this into a larger uh, context of the Iridium project and where this is, because you were saying they're trying to prove that this is really reliable. This is not the first of these satellites to be launched. In fact, they have 10, as I understand, payload on this vehicle. That's right, yeah. So this is the seventh um, of a, a kind of an eight series project uh, with Iridium. So uh, I said they're, they're putting 10 satellites up into space with this particular launch. So that will be uh, take them to having 65 uh, satellites uh, in the system up, up in uh, low orbit. Um, and there'll be one more launch to go, which will take the final 10 uh, satellites up there. So that'll be 75 uh, up in space, of which 66 are essentially the kind of operational satellites, and they have nine floating spare satellites uh, up in orbit, just in case something goes wrong uh, with that constellation of 66 satellites. Um, and that this is essentially an upgrade to um, the existing Iridium network. So the Iridium satellite network is the only network of satellites in the world that has complete global coverage. It provides a mixture of voice and kind of low bandwidth data services, and the next upgrade which they're, they're going through and nearly nearly completed basically boosts particularly the kind of data capacity uh, of the network and you know kind of make sure that Iridium is keeping up with the requirements of, of their main customers you know which is across um, exactly. uh, kind of aviation and, and maritime in particular. Okay we're watching actually from inside the vehicle itself the separation mm. appears of the first stage, which is supposed to land back down the United States, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's too foggy to actually uh, cover from the outside. But Matthew, again, to go back, the last, the original Iridium was uh, launched, as I understand, in 97. A lot has changed, for example, cell phones and mobile. The back burn, the second stage. Yeah, it has. And, and, and I guess, you know, things will continue to change. Uh, and obviously, you know, I think satellite communications um, has always kind of been, you know, kind of relatively niche. Um, kind of part of the overall kind of communications landscape, but you know, um, we've certainly heard over the last couple of years, you know, people like Facebook wanting to take internet connectivity to um, the kind of hard to reach parts of the world like Africa. 
Um, and so things like the Iridium Network can certainly kind of help to kind of fill some of that gap. And there's, you know, there's a lot of projects going on uh, looking to kind of take internet connectivity to you know, every corner of the world. And, and you know, this is kind of an important part of that. And you know, having cost-effective um, platforms like the SpaceX program are, are key to kind of continuing that evolution, really. Uh Amazing pictures, I have yeah. to say. It's As amazing we can get pictures. It, it <laughs> I mean, really, it's truly is. The quality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Falcon 9 first stage engines have cut off and they have separated, David, uh, as you pointed out. Now you have some cold gas nitrogen thrusters are firing to like reorient uh, what's left.